Podcaster Joe Rogan is calling out the media for apparent hypocrisy on Kyrie Irving's suspension from the NBA. Let's watch. Kyrie posted a link in his story to a video. And this is why he's getting in trouble. But isn't that video for sale on Amazon? Yeah, no. Uh, somebody said that. It's an excellent point. That's the craziest yeah. thing yeah. ever. It's an excellent Kyrie point. Kyrie is getting in trouble. And Amazon's not? Yeah. Like, what? You you want all this well, from him funny because is... he watched a video and he sent a link to it that you're selling. Yeah. 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 It's... it's That's uh, wild i this speaks to the thing we were talking about earlier which is it used to be amazon considers disclaimer to anti-semitic film oh good for them a uh, nice the film hebrews to negroes wake up black america which critics say peddles a garden variety of offensive anti-semitic tropes is still available for purchase on amazon prime video as of this recording Hmm, lots to unpack here. Sure. So uh, we were educating ourselves on what exactly Kyrie Irving has said that might be construed as anti-Semitic. He has said a number of, of kooky things over the years. Sure, he's a flat about, earther. <laughs> flat, <laughs> flat eartherism took over parts of the community a while back. And uh, that, co the thing. COVID vaccines are a plot yeah. by Satan. I don't know if they're a plot by Satan. Maybe a plot, but <laughs> Satan, I don't know. Um, <laughs> and then he, he shared a link to this film. Uh, that is a black Hebrew Israelites. These are the people who um, who had that confrontation on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial with uh, the Covington kids mm. all those years ago. So I, I, had, I had learned more about their interesting thinking um, for covering of that. Anyway, Kyrie Irving was kind of called in a press conference to denounce um, the film and, and I think did say that he found parts of it unfortunate or conceded the parts of it were unfortunate, but did not full-throatedly say he was not anti-Semitic with, uh, with, with the force that the questioners wanted. So he's, he's been suspended, you know, losing however much, tons of money, I presume. Joe Rogan points out, well, this video, though, is still available on Amazon, which I'm not actually sure is as much of, the, of an indictment that Joe Rogan is saying, because Joe Rogan's a big free speech guy. Yeah. So is it, shouldn't, shouldn't it be available? Like, what if we're taking, and in fact, I have criticized, and probably Rogan has criticized, maybe you've criticized, Amazon for taking down other things in the past. I know there was a book kind of critical of, of transgender activist movement that's a uh, turf or whatever you want to call it book abigail abigail schreer so i shouldn't have used turf is like the derogatory the other side would accuse them of, you know what i mean yeah that book was taken down um there was a there was an, another anti-trans book by a uh, heritage scholar when harry became sally that was taken out of the amazon store I see mm -hmm. your eyes rolling um, I remember having trouble finding uh, either, it was either a Clarence Thomas or a Thomas Sowell, or maybe both, a documentary that was positive of them that was taken down from Amazon. And, I, was, and I, I just tried to reach out to them. Maybe this is a copyright violation. Maybe there's some totally legitimate reason to take it down. They would not explain why. Yeah, so, I, I think the Amazon sells it is not the slam dunk they think they are because there's all kinds of things that Amazon should sell, like, you know, Mein Kampf. You can, you can sell a book that Hitler wrote if people are using it as a primary source, that's the whole point. Right. You know, you gotta be able to, if I'm, if I'm citing Mein Kampf to talk, talk about something that happened historically, something that I don't approve of, it's a very different thing for me just blasting out to social media, like read this great book, there's some choice ideas in here, yeah. right? And so the question becomes, yeah. what was the context of Kyrie's tweets? What do we, uh, of having tweeted out the link? Cause it was just the link without any other yes. characterization. And what do we know from other things that he said that might give us an insight into what parts of that movie that he liked? There's apparently Holocaust nihilism in the movie. There are some um, laudatory things said about Hitler in the movie, apparently. You know, if, if he supports those kinds of statements, Obviously, that's anti-Semitic, and this should be a slam dunk, dunk case, no pun intended. And I uh, appreciate what the NBA would have questions about wanting to, him to be representing the, the agency and all the endorsement deals and those kinds of things. If he tweeted it out for other kinds of reasons, it might be in very poor form, uh, and he should disavow those parts that are problematic. But it, it is it is a little... I don't know. When you watch the press conferences and the dancing they're doing around each other, it is very evocative of what just went down with um, Kanye West, mm -hmm. where it seemed, I don't know if you watched that very lengthy Pierce Morgan interview that he did, but it seemed like at a certain point it was like a Chinese finger trap. And then the more people pulled, the more he didn't want to give in, even though he knew what people wanted from him. He felt like making that kind of concession was 
kind of giving up his power to demand attention and space in the room. And by the end of the interview, he finally apologizes to Pierce, to Pierce Morgan, and the interview ends. Just as kind of like, I don't want the conversation to end. I still want to talk about all of the exploitation that I'm experiencing in the industry. He, but okay, fine, I'll apologize. And Pierce is like, okay, well, I guess that wraps up this conversation. And kind of is like, wait, no, you literally, I literally just said I didn't want to yeah. give in for exactly this reason. And I can't, you know, I don't want to like try to put to sugarcoat what uh, Kyrie is doing or what is motivating him, since I obviously don't know. And obviously, this seems to be a very ugly and anti-Semitic film. But there is, I, I understand reading a lot of the response from some parts of the black community, but there does seem to be a sense that Kyrie is being put through paces that other people aren't being put through, the standards that he's being held to are not the standards that other people are being held to. And that this has the, has the smell of, um, what's the famous case where you ask a politician, you know, what, you know, why do you beat your why wife? Why do you beat your wife? Yeah. And unless there is more that I am not aware of, which might be the case, that Kyrie has said that gives some indication that he is anti-Semitic, then this, I can understand wanting to resist answering that question in the first instance. Well, and frankly, I mean, there's no question. Do we, do we care if our basketball players have kooky views? Everyone has okay, to have perfectly. Okay, anti-Semitism isn't a kooky view, though, Robbie. It's a kooky, it's a, it is a kooky view. I, it's, it's a little bit more than a, a kooky... I think a danger to Jewish people. I think it's a little bit more than a kooky view. And if, you, if you're Adidas <laughs> in the Kanye case, or if you're the NBA and you want to be able to say this is a wholesome league, you have people having to cover up tattoos and do all kinds of things. I don't personally agree with that, but it wouldn't be completely out of character and it wouldn't feel like there was a well, vendetta no, no. out Everyone against Everyone can do whatever Kyrie. they want, right? Advertisers don't have to. They can disassociate from whoever they want. Look at Twitter. People, you know, people of... Uh, of in prominent public positions in public life, reap what they sow and face consequences for saying things people find distasteful. That's fine. With and Kanye is, I probably I think I would say even more so than Kyrie Irving is in a kind of expressive category. It's uh, music being more sort of expressing of one's views than uh, sports in, to some degree. Uh, but you know, I said it with same thing with Kanye that like I think you can like or dislike his music independent of whether you find him an objectionable person or that someone who has some very extremely objectionable views, which he clearly does have. Kyrie Irving similarly seems to have, uh, it, not just on this, but given all the, all right, the other crazy he, things, he, like truly crazy, disturbed Alex Jones type things he said over the Right, years. and he is a but fan fine. of Alex Jones. He is, but I, I guess I don't, I don't but, care but, that much. But this is the question. Does Kanye... Kanye can say what he wants, fine. Yeah. He loses his yeah. deals, fine. Is he able to actually produce and disseminate music if the people yeah. who facilitate that process don't want to work with him anymore? And at what point does that become, hey, that's that's on you. You made choices. And how much, at what point does that become, there's certain institutional supports that everyone should have access to regardless of your viewpoint. And that's why some people thought that when JP Morgan shut down Kanye West's account, that seemed to cross a line into, well, are we saying that Clearly. you're not allowed to bank? Are you not allowed to use public transportation? Are you not allowed to go to the park if you hold certain views? And what does that mean for how we're structuring our society? We've got to, to we gotta give everybody a questionnaire make before they play yeah. basketball, find out if they have well, any look, impartial views. I, I, I mean, I, okay, this, this stuff is over the, the line. There's a gap between the bank stuff NBA stuff. And I guess there's a gap between this crazy and just maybe it was just a couple things. If it was just, I don't know. But it's... I don't know, this kind of, we have to police everybody, make sure everybody's perfect and doesn't right, think but, everything crazy. No, but don't doesn't, minimize, don't doesn't collapse. It doesn't, it doesn't devolve to our benefit. Having a, a, a lurid tattoo that the NBA wants you to cover up is not the same thing as espousing anti-Semitic views. Mm -hmm. And I, I just want to be clear about that. Like, it is, it is completely possible that Kyrie Irving is anti-Semitic and that these claims are well-founded. Again, I, I don't know as much about this as I could, and I have not watched this film, but like, the problem is people not getting into the details and the people who are making these charges of him not making clear what they actually want from him and what the public standard is for, let's say, participating in, B in the NBA is causing some folks to feel like this is a lynch mob, like this is a targeted attack that has more to do about his assertions of, uh, he made a lot of statements about his value as a black American and feeling like his own history is valued. And that is why a lot of people, I think, are defending him right now because they see this as and to Kanye, this is similar, an attack on a kind of affirmative, proud, black identity um, as right. opposed to trying to root out anti-Semitism in a sincere way. Yeah. I mean, I simultaneously think people should stop saying totally crazy things <laughs> and then feeling a little sorry for them when, you know, all their success in their life is ripped away from them because they did it. I don't know. 
Yeah. Well, we can at least agree on the fact that the Earth is round. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're opening a whole can of worms here. You're big, big earth, big round. You're pushing, uh, you're pushing big globe it's over true. here. I'm a big glober. Have you ever seen the Mercator projection? Like Greenland is most of, is most of earth. A, a globalist even. No, all right, that's all for this segment. We'll have a rising for you after this.